Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next, let us know in the comment section. In this episode, we will explore the life and legacy of Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, better known as El Cid, the legendary Spanish knight and military leader who became an iconic figure during the Reconquista. Born around 1043 in Vivar, a small village in what is now the province of Burgos, Spain, Rodrigo was the son of Diego Linez, a nobleman and member of the minor nobility. El Cid, which means the Lord in the Moorish language, would eventually become a symbol of Christian and Spanish resistance against the Muslim occupation of the Iberian Peninsula. Throughout his life, El Cid served various rulers, including the Christian King Ferdinand I of Leon and Castile, and later, Alfonso VI, as well as the Muslim rulers of Zaragoza, whom he defended against both Christian and Muslim enemies. Despite being a Christian, El Cid's ability to work with Muslim rulers was one of the defining aspects of his career. In 1072, following the death of King Sancho II, Alfonso VI took the throne, and El Cid became his chief military commander. However, his relationship with the new king was tumultuous. Around 1080, he was exiled from the kingdom for reasons that remain unclear. Some historians speculate it was due to disputes over the tribute collected from the Moorish territories, while others argue it could have been personal animosities within the court. Regardless of the reasons, El Cid's exile marked a new chapter in his life. He formed his own army and offered his services to the Muslim Taifa of Zaragoza, where he became a respected military leader. Over the next decade, El Cid successfully fought against various Christian and Muslim factions, extending the rule of Zaragoza and increasing his influence. His fame and reputation grew to such an extent that in 1086, following a significant defeat of the Christian kingdoms by the invading Almoravids from North Africa, King Alfonso VI recalled El Cid from exile to help defend his realm. Despite the troubled history between them, El Cid agreed to aid the king, which further solidified his status as a symbol of Christian resistance. However, El Cid's real moment of glory came in 1094, when he achieved his most famous military accomplishment, the conquest of the Muslim stronghold of Valencia. This great city on the eastern coast of the Iberian Peninsula had long been a prize sought by the Christian kingdoms. After a long siege, El Cid's forces managed to capture the city, and he ruled it as an independent lord until his death in 1099. The story of El Cid's conquest of Valencia would become the subject of the famous Spanish epic poem, El Canto de Mio Cid, which immortalized him as a national hero. Written in the 12th century, this epic work portrays El Cid as a loyal and valiant warrior who embodies the virtues of a Christian knight. After his death, El Cid's widow, Jimena Diaz, continued to hold Valencia for a few more years until the Almoravids eventually recaptured it. Despite the city's loss, El Cid's exploits became legendary, and his name remained a rallying cry for Christian forces throughout the remainder of the Reconquista. While El Cid's military achievements are impressive, it's essential to understand the political and cultural context in which he lived. The Iberian Peninsula during the 11th century was a complex and dynamic landscape where Christian and Muslim rulers often forged alliances against common enemies, regardless of religious differences. El Cid was a product of this world, and his ability to navigate these complicated relationships is a testament to his skills as a diplomat and military strategist. It's also important to remember that the image of El Cid as a champion of Christian Spain against Muslim invaders is a relatively modern one, shaped by later nationalist and romantic narratives. In reality, he was a skilled and pragmatic leader who saw opportunities and formed alliances with both Christians and Muslims to advance his own interests. One interesting aspect of El Cid's legacy is the role he played in shaping the culture of medieval Spain. As a knight who served both Christian and Muslim rulers, he was exposed to the artistic and intellectual traditions of both cultures. 
This blending of cultural influences can be seen in the architecture and art of the period, which often incorporated both Christian and Islamic elements, creating a unique and distinct style known as Mujar. El Cid's influence also extended to the literary sphere. His story, as told in the El Canto de Mio Cid, is one of the earliest and most significant works of Spanish literature. The poem not only reflects the cultural blending that characterized the time, but also helped establish many of the themes and motifs that would recur in Spanish literature for centuries to come. Over time, the legend of El Cid has been adapted and retold in various forms, including plays, novels, and even films. One of the most famous cinematic adaptations is the 1961 film El Cid, starring Charlton Heston and Sophia Loren, which, while historically inaccurate in many ways, captured the imagination of audiences worldwide and contributed to the popular image of the legendary knight. In conclusion, the story of El Cid is a fascinating and complex tale that reflects the rich tapestry of medieval Spain. As a military leader, he demonstrated exceptional skill and adaptability in a constantly shifting political landscape. As a cultural figure, he embodied the blending of Christian and Muslim influences that characterized the period, leaving an indelible mark on Spanish art, literature, and identity. The legacy of El Cid endures to this day, not only as a symbol of Spanish unity and resistance against foreign invasion, but also as a reminder of the cultural and historical complexities of the Iberian Peninsula during the time of the Reconquista. By understanding the life and times of El Cid, we gain a better appreciation of the diverse and interconnected world in which he lived, and the enduring power of his legend as a symbol of courage, loyalty, and perseverance. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.